the Greenville Zoo, the administrator and staff members are going to just review their security policies already in place after what happened in Cincinnati. I just thought it was so tragic for both the zoo and the family. I hated to see what happened. It was scary. Never know. They had to make a split second decision like a police officer does. And do you risk the life of that young boy or take the life of the gorilla? And they made the decision to save the human life. The Greenville Zoo is prepared to take similar action if ever necessary. We have a response team that's responsible for um, using deadly force. Um, we train with the uh, Greenville Police Department. When it comes to most of the animals at the zoo, even the trained staff members keep their distance. We don't go in with any of the animals. All the animals in the zoo are wild. Police in Cincinnati are deciding whether to file charges against the parents of the child who was in the gorilla enclosure. So I don't know that that would do any good. Um, it was a, a freak accident that is unlikely to be repeated. Meantime, kids say they're more aware of what can happen with zoo animals. Even though they are very sweet, if you agitate them or something, they will attack you or try to hurt you as, as this happens. Because when you get really close to an uh, animal, then it might feel like you're trying to either sneak up on it and attack it, and it might attack you. There are many precautionary measures in place that the visiting public may not even realize. For example, the guardrails keeps people away from the enclosure, and these prickly bushes between the guardrails and the actual animal enclosure, which is surrounded by, as you can see, a metal cage. So quite a few things already in place to make sure that the zoo visiting experience is good for the staff as well as the visitors. My Ruiz, WYFF News 4, Greenville.